Hi, it's me again with Corolla Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file, and I love the idea, but they can't get it to work. They're trying to do this right here. That's a pretty cool, um, I think we could even play with that a little bit more, because I actually made the lines thicker. I could make them a little thinner, and um, but you could play around with that. And also, you could always bring the outline. I just did this one. I know it works. Um, you could always bring the outline down and, and really make it stand out. But he's having trouble using the interactive, or not the interactive fill tool, the uh, intersect tool that he was watching one of my videos. So I know, and then he told me how he did this on a second email. If you select it, well, now it's going to work. And go intersect. Yeah, it doesn't work. So, and this is why it doesn't work. And this is kind of the telltale sign of why it doesn't work. If we back up here and select it again, you will notice down here, there's four objects. Well, for the intersect tool to work, you only need two. So what he did, he blended this. So I'm just going to do it from start. And I'm going to take his text, which he converted to a curve, which is good, but I think it's like Cooper or something. And he told me he used the, the distort tool on zipper. So go to the distort tool and uh, pick zipper and then start adding nodes. So you put one in the middle and just keep clicking and well, no, that's, that's the wrong side. Start right here and see it's adding notes. Then start adding this and it's going to give you your points. And then go right here to smooth and it turns it smooth. So here's what he did wrong. He made a duplicate of it. He selected them both. He went to effects and blended it. And I've already done this. I've blended it 50 times. Here's where he went wrong. You need to select it all, go up to object, and break the blend apart. Then you actually need to go select it, group. And whenever you get the option of ungroup all, ungroup all, now group it back together. That way there's nothing but going to be but one group. So we have one group right here of 52 objects. Put our text in there and for the intersect tool you need to be able to see your text it can't be hidden back there so now we can go and intersect it and now if we move that down there's our effect and you can always take your outline and move it around there that's a pretty cool i like the effect because it's almost every letter looks like a different swirl uh when i uh, it's just pretty cool. I was just wondering if we could do more of this. And I'm going to try. When you make the lines thicker, you get these end caps. I'm just wondering if collectively we can give it round end cap. Look at that. That's pretty cool. And then you can make it actually a little bit thicker. Wow. Pretty cool. Anyway, I hope that answered his question. And uh, the intersect tool is really cool. It's a cool tool to have. Anyway, I hope that helped them and somebody in the future. And thank you for watching.